Yeah, guys, today I'm able to show you something very different because um, I'll just make it in a very um, practical way for you. Yeah, I want to show you um, how you can study mortar at a very low cost. Um, but before I do that, I just want to answer some basic questions. One of the questions is if you can come to mortar with your family. I mean, these are some of the questions people ask, right? Yeah, so the answer is yes. Um, you can also say I've checked it out and say, yeah, if you receive a resident permit, your family member can apply for a mother family visa for the purpose of the reunion and can stay in Malta for as long as you stay in Malta. So that means you can actually move to Malta with your family. And uh, some people want to know about Malta economy. Yeah, the Malta economy is a highly industrialized service-based economy. This classifies as advanced economy by the International Monetary Fund. You can even ask, is it easy to find a job in Malta? You know, some people who went to UK actually took very long time to find a job, see. Um, we say booming economy, you say um, summer vibe makes the country an attractive option for relocation. And the booming economy here means that finding a job is easier than ever. So you can see that it means a lot. So these are basic questions you may want to ask me before going to this year. So today we'll be telling you about Investor of Malta and how so the Investor of Malta could be cheap for you and a very good option for you. Uh, we'll just go back to the first page. Yeah. Now, this is the first page. And look at what the showed up here just a minute I just want to get some stuff yeah okay so um, as you can see this is um, invest of water and it is one of the cheapest you can ever think of I mean in the world not just in water alone and um, I would just like to take you to the study so you see the undergraduate and postgraduate um, programs, even the doctoral school, okay, and even foundation school. So let's look at undergraduate degrees. They've got um, a number of degrees for undergraduate degrees, so you can just search here if you want to see which of the degree, let's say, um, business. See. Yeah, so these are um, the courses, you know. I've actually um, filtered business, but maybe I should just remove business. So it shows me everything, right? Yeah. So these are different areas of study, the business, humanities, health, science and technology, social science. So let's look at science and technology, for example. Yeah, you're going to see all the courses on science and technology. So many courses, um, both in science, technology, engineering, they are all listed here, okay, for undergraduates. You can also filter it for postgraduates. So there are so many of them, I can actually exhaust them. So invariably, everything you want to study is here. Uh, yeah, so let me clear the filter. And... Um, you can also check it out and say postgraduate and research programs, okay? Yeah, so that um, brings you to postgraduate, you can see master's, doctorate, other stuff. So let's see, this international master's of business administration, so you can hit it up and see. Yeah, if you hit it up, you see um, this course title is international master's of business administration. This level duration of our credit is um, 90 ECTS. There's a credit load and a system, Mr. And um, the mode of study is part time. <laughs> you consider admission requirements. You have to refer to the list of countries specific requirements to check out your country. Yeah, so I just go back to, um, yeah, let's pick up another course, Masters in Accountancy. 
Uh, let me just check out something else. Something general. Yeah, let's take a mass of sense in um, mechanical mainly by research. Yeah, if you check it out, you've got to say that the ECTS is um, 90 and is part time by research. Okay. Then you can see the admission requirements um, here. It shows what you need to do a bachelor's of engineering degree with at least second class honor or a bachelor of engineering degree with at least second class honor in appropriate suitable um, subjects as approved by the board or a bachelor's degree with a third class engineering or in a relevant area of study and are in possession of other qualification including relevant experience, equivalent qualification approved by Senate on the recommendation of the board. So those are the requirements okay, for you to get admitted. So once you've got a bachelor's degree, you can actually apply for this. So look at this. This is the fees. The fees for international students starting 1,400, which is um, very much okay um, for a place like Malta and compared to, I mean, euros, not even pounds, compared to a place like UK. And you can see um, the year one is 6,700. You've got to pay them in installment and the second year you pay another 6,700. The third day you don't need to pay, you need to focus and, you know, wrap up your education. So that's what it looks like. So look at the study program. I mean, to see the details about this. I'm going to see the details of the courses you want to study for um, this program, you know, for the three semesters. And this is going to be divided in three semesters. Look at aerodynamics and energy. Those are how it's been classified, okay? Yeah, so if you need more information, you can check out this place to see more information about this program. Yeah, so this is what it looks like for every other course also. So let me just check out another course here, um, which is, let's say, Masters of Science in Pharmacy. And if I check out this course, it's a three semester program, which is like one and a half year. It's 90 CTS and it's a full-time program by research. So if you check out here, also you're going to see the requirements, okay? The degree of Doctor of Medicine and Surgery, which means for a Doctor of Medicine and Surgery can actually study this. The degree of Masters of Dental Surgery, you know, and other programs which you will do to study this. So these are the requirements. And you can also check out the fees is also 30,400 uh, for international students, okay? If you're a national student, you switch here. It is almost um, free for you. Yeah, so that is um, about this program. So, you can come here to see information about research, like um, research project at University of uh, Malta, research group at University of Malta. You can check them out in case you're interested to do a research program, okay? And if you also want to know how um, you can be supported, you can hit up support for researchers to see the support you can get actually. Um, here also you can go to study to check out the fees and funding, okay? To see how you can get um, funding like um, scholarships and all that from, you know, the investor or from external source, okay? So, by the way, there's an um, application fee of 95 euro um, normal time, but then you can check out if school fees varies from cost to cost, okay? Yeah, so that is um, about that. And um, something else you may be interested in is uh, funding opportunities in Malta. So when I get funding opportunities, from time to time, research entities within the University of Malta publish calls for funding opportunities. Part of research opportunities, including scholarship for postgraduate and doctoral research, funded scholarships, and um, studentship on um, such program may offer the chance to study as part of a cohort research. So it's important to check out with your research team um, today about the fund opportunity. Where you can go fully here to see the scholarships. Yeah, here you're gonna see Master of Research and PhD scholarship. You can find out here scholarship for Tunisian nationals, for Palestinians, you know. <laughs> 
then you can also see the MA conflict um, resolution on common weight and valid action plan scholarship. So you check out which of the scholarship that suits you most and you check it out. So let's say master's by research and PhD. You can check out that you see how to apply for this scholarship. You can see it here. Yeah, first thing you need to do is um you know you you need to make sure that your master's program is by research, okay? And you need to submit a request um, to be considered for a free waiver by sending an email to this, um, you know, international office indicating that um, your master application, you are indicating your applicant ID, okay, which will be shown in your letter. And um, University of Master Postgraduate Scholarship application in the subject line so this is how to indicate you need an application and the following document has to be attached copy of acceptance letter detail curriculum vita and a motivational letter and a copy of your passport those are the things you need to send okay and the deadline for application is at first this january at first may and at first october depending on which of them you are applying to okay yeah, this is virtually very important otherwise once you apply outside of that not gonna be considered okay so that's why it's quite important to um, check out the date and ensure that um, you meet up with the deadlines okay yeah so the next thing you want to do is how to apply right so you can always come to the same place study and um, you may decide to hit up a course, and if you hit up a course, you can actually click on apply. Now, did I hit up any course? I don't think so. Okay, let me go to the draw school. Mm, applying for a doctor's study. So it's going to bring you the place where you can shuffle the website and see everything which is involved. You can see. Um, about tuition free. So, your main expenses to study at the University of Malta will be en enrollment for tuition fees and living expenses. F uh, fees for EU and blah, blah, blah. That doesn't concern us, so let's look at for non EU. There's 11,000 annual enrollment, that end up to 5,500. And um, Student so reading for a full time or part time doctoral um, degree at University of Malta and whom are granted an extension of study shall be an annual fee of academic year of 600. Okay. Yeah, but then don't forget that there are funds associated with this which you need to talk to your supervisor to um, provide to you. Okay. Yeah, so because it could actually. Um, it, that will actually be helpful. Yeah, uh, anyway, um, you can check out the requirement for each of the programs like this for a PhD program. So you can see that um, for a PhD program, applicants who wish to pursue doctoral re research in the of motor will normally have completed second cycle master's degree. So you must have completed a master's degree like in US where you can actually apply directly for BSc. Okay, it's not the same with... Um, Malta. So this is um, information peculiar for international students so you can look it up to see how this will be helpful. There is also a joint degree. Um, if you want to do a dual degree program then that's fine okay. Then yeah, for application you just come up here and apply online. So once you hit it up you fill up the application forms and complete everything which is required and submit your application form okay. Just say confirm and you hit up your apply, then you set up your application process. So, guys, this is how to apply to Invest of Motor. I hope that this is helpful to you and I wish you the best of luck. Cheers.